Today we're going to hear a story about a group of people who all had really dirty feet and one person who decided to wash their feet for them. This story can teach us something really important about how we can launch our faith in God to new heights. Our big idea for this week is we can serve others. Repeat that with me. We can serve others. So why does it matter to God and to us? Well, let's watch our teaching video and find out. I'm Bobby and I grew up on, on my family's farm. I moved to the big city, let adventure take me far. It's Hobbies with Bobby, Bobby, yeah! This is Hobbies with Bobby. Welcome back to the craft basement in my family's farm. I've been trying to convert these bottles into bird feeders. But I got myself covered in glue, bird seed, and bottle bits. I'm gonna have to clean this mess up. Give me a second here. I'm gonna take this load out to the recycling bin. You guys, I just came back from the recycling bins and they're next to my neighbor, Farmer Mason's trash and recycling bins and someone knocked them all over. What a cruel thing to do. There's trash ripped up all over the front yard. It smells terrible. What should I do? If I go tell him, maybe he'll think I did it. I could just leave it and he'll discover it soon enough, right? I could help clean it up. Ugh, it's so gross and it's all over and right by the road. What if someone from school drives by and think it's me picking up gross and smelly garbage? What a geek with goggles and gloves and something to plug my nose. I'll be honest with you, no one will know if I don't do it. Farmer Mason could do it himself. I mean, it is his trash, right? <sighs> have you ever spilled something? I have. In my family, we have a tradition. If you spill something, everyone else helps you clean it up. You already feel embarrassed and silly for having spilled, so the rest of our family helps you clean it up. But this seems way more gross than just a spilled drink or something. <sighs> Do you think there's a Bible story that could give me some guidance here? Let's take a look. It's Bible time, time for the Bible, yeah. yeah. It's Bible time with Bobby. The Bible story this week comes from the book of John and it happens right before Jesus is killed and comes back to life. This is actually the story of what happened right before his last meal with his friends. If you could have a big party with your friends, what is your favorite food you'd want to eat? Quickly, tell the person next to you. All of Jesus' friends arrived at their last meal together, and normally a servant in the house would wash everyone's feet before they entered the house. It was their way of welcoming people in and getting ready for supper. But for this meal, even though Jesus was their leader, he took off his nice clothes, bent down, and washed their feet. One of Jesus' followers named Peter was uncomfortable. He didn't want someone he looked up to touching his feet. But Jesus insisted and then told him that he was setting an example for how everyone, even the important people like leaders and teachers, need to be willing to serve, that they should follow his example. He finished the story by saying, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Wait a second. We don't do anything like wash our guest feet anymore. Hey, Miss Sophie, do you have an example of how this might fit for us now? There has to be more there has here. To be more. more here. Ooh. Hmm. There has to be more here. Thanks for asking, Bobby. And hello, everyone. Well... In Bible times, they didn't have cars, or trains, or bicycles, or buses to go places. They mainly rode on animals or walked everywhere. When they walked, they didn't have nice concrete or pavement roads. They had dirt roads. And on top of that, they didn't have nice closed-toed shoes or sneakers. They mostly wore flat sandals. So if you think your feet can get dirty or smelly, imagine that you only wore sandals, walked everywhere you went on dirt roads, and there was animal poop everywhere. Your feet would be triple gross, right? Well, Jesus wanted to show an extreme example of serving our neighbors, even when it would be dirty, gross, or embarrassing. 
Jesus says at the end that the new commandment he is giving them is to love one another. And washing feet is how he chose to model that love for them. Bobby, what do you think about that? Wow. Okay. That's a pretty extreme example of Jesus doing something to love his friends. Jesus models for us that it's okay to risk embarrassment to help others. That can be difficult, but loving others is what Jesus tells us to do. It's how people will know I follow Jesus. I think that means I need to go clean up Farmer Mason's garbage bins, even if someone might see me and make fun of me at school. Okay, I'm gonna find some gloves and pick up the trash so I can serve others like Jesus. Guess what? It went great. I started picking up the trash and Farmer Mason saw me working and he came out to help. He knew I didn't do it because we found some possum tracks around the trash can and bite marks on the trash. We cleaned it up quick and then his family invited me in for some lasagna, my favorite food. Today, I learned that Jesus wants us to love others by serving them, even if it can be embarrassing or hard for us to do. This week, what are some ways you can love people by serving them? Think about that silently for five seconds. I want you to come up with one example of how you can serve others. Ready, silent thinking. All right, I'm excited for you to be able to put your love into action. Remember, we can serve others. I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week loving others. Bye. This is Hobbies with Bobby. Our Bible story for today comes from John chapter 13, verses 1 to 17. Jesus' friends, who we call the disciples, had pretty dirty feet. And that's because people in those days didn't have boots or sneakers, paved roads, cars, buses, or even bikes. Instead, they usually wore sandals and either walked or rode animals down dusty roads. And that meant their feet got really, really dirty. Plus, mealtime back then was really different from what mealtime might be like at your house. Instead of sitting at a tall table in chairs, people used to sit or lie on the ground to eat. And that means your food would be really close to everyone's dirty feet. So you'd probably want to make sure your feet got washed before you sat down to eat dinner. Back then, people either washed their feet themselves or they would let the least important person in the room wash their feet for them. And that's why it was so surprising when Jesus decided to wash his friend's feet. Jesus' friends knew that Jesus wasn't the least important person in the room. Jesus was the most important person in the world. One of the ways that we help our faith grow is by hearing and remembering God's words. Our memory verse this month is, Your word is a light for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm chapter 119, verse 105. Bye, kids. Have a great week.